in this lecture we will study how to perform circular convolution using frequency domain approach in my previous videos we have studied how to perform a circular convolution using time domain method and concentric circle method now we will consider the another approach to perform circular convolution between two sequences that is known as frequency domain approach this method is also known as DFT IDFT method or it is also known as Stokham's method. We will take one example. Let x1 is a discrete sequence. We will consider the same example which we have considered in previous cases. That is 1, 2, 3 and minus 1. Let x2 of n be 4, 3, 2, minus 2 the circular convolution between these two let it be y of n is equal to x1 of n x2 of n so in this case n is equal to 4 the the first step is we supposed to perform the dft of x1 of n that is First, we have to perform DFT of x1 of n. We will get x1 of k. Then take the DFT of another sequence, say x2 of n. It will give x2 of k. Then we supposed to multiply these two. Let the output of this be y of k which is nothing but multiplication between x1 of k and x2 of k then we supposed to take the id of t of y of k by taking id of t of y of k we will get y of n circular convolution between x1 of n and x2 of n so first now we will try to find dft of x1 of n x1 of n is given by 1 2 3 minus 1 we will find dft of x1 of n using matrix method x1 of 0 x1 of 1 x1 of 2 x1 of 3 then there will be n cross n twiddle factor matrix that is w4 raised to 0 w4 0 w4 0 w4 0 and first column will be w4 0 w4 0 second row is w4 power 1 2 3 third row will be multiple of 2 that is 2 4 6 then last row is multiple of 3 3 6 9 next we have a column matrix that is x1 of 0 x1 of 1 x1 of 2 x1 of 3 which is equal to now I will write the values of twiddle factor well twiddle factor matrix that is 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 w4 power 1 is its value is minus j 
it is minus 1 w4 power 3 is plus j w4 power 2 value is minus 1 w4 power 4 is nothing but w4 power 0 which is 1 w4 power 6 is minus 1 w4 power 3 is plus j w4 power 6 is minus 1 w4 power 9 is minus j so now we have x1 of 0 is 1 2 3 minus 1 now performing matrix multiplication between these two we can write 1 into 1 1 plus 1 into 2 is 2 plus 1 into 3 is 3 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 similarly with respect to second row this column is 1 into 1 is 1 minus 2j minus 3 minus j with third row 1 minus 2 plus 3 plus 1 fourth row 1 plus 2j minus 3 plus j so simplifying this we will get for you this minus 2 minus 3j it is 3 minus 2 plus 3j now consider the second sequence that is x2 of n which is equal to 4 3 2 minus 2 that is x1 of 0 x1 of 1 x1 of 0 x1 of 1 x1 of 2 x1 of 3 is equal to we have total factor values already that is 1 1 1 1 1 minus j minus 1 plus j 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 1 j minus 1 minus j so x2 of 0 is 4 3 2 minus 2 so multiplying this 4 plus 3 plus 2 minus 2 with second row we have 4 minus 3j minus 2 minus 2j with third row we have 4 minus 3 plus 2 this is plus 2 then with fourth row we have 4 plus 3j minus 2 plus 2j so simplifying this we will get 7 2 minus 5j 5 2 plus j so now we therefore y of k is equal to x1 of k into x2 of k x1 of k values are multiplied with x2 of k that is 5 into 7 is 35 second sample 2 minus 5 j into minus 2 minus 3j minus 19 plus j4 
5 into 3 gives 15 then 2 plus 5j into minus 2 plus 3j will get minus 19 minus j4 so now we are supposed to take idft of y of k to get y of n y of 0 y of 1 y of 2 y of 3 is equal to 1 upon n now we will write the total factor matrix the first row values are 1 1 1 1 first column is 1 and minus 1 values will be as it is plus j is replaced by minus j and minus j is replaced by plus j that is the second row values will be j this supposed to be j and this supposed to be minus j this is j minus j and this is minus 1 as it is here we have 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 is kept as it is the last row will be 1 minus j minus 1 plus j 1 minus j minus 1 plus j so this will be multiplied with y of 0 y of 1 y of 2 y of 3 we will simplify this further that is 1 upon n is 4 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 and we have it is j minus 1 minus j minus 1 1 minus 1 minus j minus 1 j it is multiplied with 35 minus 19 plus j4 15 minus 19 minus j4 so this is equal to 1 upon 4 1 into 35 is 35 1 into this is minus 19 plus j4 plus 15 1 into this term is minus 19 minus j4 similarly second row this column values are 35 when j is multiplied with this we will get minus 19 j plus j square into 4 minus 15 when minus j is multiplied with this we will get plus 19j plus 4j square 35 minus 1 multiplied with this will be plus 19 minus j4 plus 15 plus 19 plus j4 is 35 plus 19 j minus 4 j square minus 15 minus 19 j plus 4 j square So this will be equal to 1 by 4 we have 12 12 88 
28 which is equal to 3 3 22 and 7 so therefore y of n is equal to 3 3 22 and 7 so even here we got the same values this is convolution of that is circular convolution of two sequences using stokem's method thank you for watching